Welcome, all you 516 subscribers. Woo! And for the 50% of you that are not subscribed, Boo! welcome to Bush Gardens and the Bush Gardens Junkies. Uh, it is Friday. Not supposed to be too crowded because, well, yeah, you know, people are still in work. But, and, and also it is going to be raining, so hopefully the crowds will be light, but we'll, we'll see. We are here at the Gator Habitat and they have put up a new fence. And uh, this new fence is due to the order of the fish and wildlife. see our gators. Now, from what I heard, this is temporarily put up so they can get a more permanent fence up. But yeah, this was going to happen no matter what. I think this fence was actually planned to be put up in about a year or two. But because we had somebody on TikTok trying to be a brave soul and jump the fence. Things got sped up a little bit. Okay, folks. Um, we were live, but uh, we had a little issue and uh, had to switch batteries. So now we're just uh, recording this for prosperity purposes uh, they just evac the last train we are going to be next to get evac and <laughs> uh, yeah and this is our second what do you guys want to call this I know you guys don't like the word evac escort. Escort. Uh, an escort your lab bars uh, starting from you and then we're gonna go around and then I'm gonna have you once I open your lap bars I'm gonna have you step this way hold on to the railings arms up Okay, so this is actually an escort off of a ride that is having temporary technical difficulties. Is that the proper way of calling it? Now, we always like to call it evac, but it's an escort because we're in the ride restricted area. Um, now granted, they went ahead and turned off the ride. They have the lockout key. So they locked out the ride so they can escort us off of the ride. Escort us off the ride. Oh, thank you. So, a nice cold water. And uh, 
you guys are going to the locker. They're going to come back and give you guys some time. Okay, thank you. So, uh, yeah, that is, that is the extent of the escort since we were in the ride restricted area. Now I gotta navigate up these steps. Oh, oh boy. This is why I use the ADA section. <laughs> Those steps are a killer, I'm sorry. Could I cross? No. <laughs> You got the lockout key, right? So, um, at least going down won't be that bad. So, that is uh, the escort off of Cobra's Curse. Two. We ran out of re events, so I'm just going to go. Oh, okay. We ran out of re events. Okay. So, I just thought, anyway, I tell them to explain it. So. Um, that that is it. So you got the guy. You guys got to experience the escort off of a temporarily shut down ride, also known as, in coaster terms, an evac. So there was a couple of great things that Bush Gardens does. Thank you. Uh, if you hold on a moment here. Um, one of the things is uh, when we get escorted off of a ride, we get a bottle of water. And Justin here is giving us a ride remit, even though we have the wrap sheet, but we could probably use the ride remit because uh, especially with Cobra's Purse, the ADA and the Quick Pass is the same lane. But yeah, that's uh, the bonuses of being here at Busch Gardens and they, they love their guests so much, right? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. You too. No, no, not Can't see her too well, but we caught Debbie in there. She was up on land eating and browsing, and then she decided it's getting a little too hot, so let's jump in the water. And, uh... We have a very active crocodile here. Crocodile? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. A very active crocodile. I wonder if it's feeding time. And I got plenty of kids to feed them around here. They closed off this area because they're doing some refurbishment over there on the habitat. There's nobody on it. But that sounded like a normal run to me. So hopefully soon after all this testing, she'll reopen soon. Now let's see if the cash card goes down the way it's supposed to. Yeah, that looks normal. Let's see if she cycles again. Well, I saw Falcon's Fury testing earlier today. the keys uh, uh. we spotted a key it's one of the many keys to Pantopia yeah. so that's stuck in there yeah. that's stuck in there good So yeah, there is a story behind that, and uh, there's a whole bunch of keys hidden in Pantopia. Can you find them all? It's like playing Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. 
We're here at Sand Serpent because Sand Serpent, well, it's going bye bye. It's going bye bye. I I'm afraid I won't miss it as much as some of you. I will. Um, but yeah, time to get your last rides in before July 9th because after July 9th, they're closing Sand Serpent. Now, to get a little perspective on things, we have Phoenix that has been taken down right there. And Phoenix takes quite a bit of that area. And then you got this whole area here. And you got Sand Serpent. And guys, well, this is just a rumor. But you see that building there with the green roof? Right behind Sand Serpent? Well, supposedly this is the last year for Hollow Scream on that ride. And that will open up that area and all of this here to put in a, another coaster. Now there is a possibility that they'll have it go out that way into the unused portion of Rhino Rally, which is out that direction behind that building. So, and the other rumor is uh, that Velcoma was here on site and uh, could be a Velcoma straddle coaster. Now this is just a rumor, but it's definitely gonna be a family type coaster. But yeah, I, I think they're gonna be able to use this whole section here. Probably even this building here. Just go all the way over there to the wall there of the Pantopia Theater. And yeah, this whole area here could be also used for a nice big coaster. <coughs> Stay tuned, we'll, we'll, we'll get you the latest information. And also stay tuned because, well, the park is about to announce something soon. Not sure when, but we gotta definitely wait for the announcement from the park to make it official. But I'm thinking they're gonna wait until after July 9th to go ahead and make that announcement after they take down Sand Serpent. Just an update on the bathrooms here. They are still under refurbishment. And that's by the smokehouse, which is one of the best places, best place to eat is the smokehouse. Now, we actually had our lunch over at Oasis Pizza, and I had the meatball sub, and Maggie had the Caesar salad, and I, I can, wow, that meatball sub was amazing. Almost good as my own meatballs that I make at home. <laughs> Almost as good. We are coming up to Tigris. And, uh, well, it looks like Tigris is still down. And uh, now, from what I heard, there was another similar ride, meaning a Skyrocket 2. And there was an incident somewhere out in California. I looked all over the place for it and I could not find anything about it. But from what I gather, all of these rides, all the Skyrocket 2s have been taken out of service because of that incident and they've been thoroughly checked over. If you guys know about the incident that happened in California, please let us know. Write down in the comment section uh, or even put a link if you uh, have a link to it. Um, just to let us know uh, what's going on. It looks like uh, Bush Gardens needs some bodies, some scare actors for Hollow Scream. So if you think you got it, you got what it takes, and you're a body, well, Bush Gardens wants you. 
there is some interesting things going on by the sky ride and those look like hollow scream props and decorations and stuff so yeah i believe that was a burning the burning house or the church that was burning but yeah there is some stuff hiding away in the background there just waiting for hollow screen so as you see the catch car is coming down that is the third time we heard it drop How many more tests do we have to do? Ah. She looks like she's running good. We have Bubba and Jimmy. Right up front here. Right, Bubba? Hi. I think we got Bubba up front and Jimmy's right behind him. Yeah, one of them's I think about 50, the other one's about 80. Aren't they adorable? They're just having so much fun just sitting there. Hey! Oh, what can I say? Yeah, we're, uh, it's 612 and we're staying longer than we normally stay. Uh, if you want to know Friday, yeah, it is kind of busy. All the rides are around a half an hour to an hour wait. I think I saw Cheetah Hunt or something at 75 minutes. So, um, yeah. And this is a Friday. So, guys, maybe Friday might not be a good day come. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is definitely um, now considered a weekend. Uh, unless you get here right and early real early on fridays then you're good until about noon well guys that that's gonna do it for us today i hope you enjoy this video didn't have any really new updates or any new news for you um but we we may soon have some new information for you and uh stay tuned for the uh video we are going to put in those uh four people put their names in a little hat or a little bowl and pick out a random person to win a nano coaster Woo so that video will probably come up uh, probably around Sunday or Monday and we'll find a way to get in touch with you the winner and uh, find a way to get you your nano coaster that'll do it for today yep
and uh, well the park is still open it'll still be open for a couple more hours but we were here since the opening and it's now six I think six o'clock ish it's seven okay it's seven o'clock we're normally here until only about four three o'clock and we stayed a lot later than we normally did we were actually gonna go ahead and stay for the fireworks but we're getting a little tired and uh, we want to just go home chill out chill out so until next time see y'all see ya